going on guys? Welcome back to Little King Live. We are on the road because what is going on Nick? We're buying stuff. It's summertime and we need a new convertible. So we're going to go buy a convertible. And I don't like spending money so you know, I didn't sleep last night. Well you know that we don't have to it, buy. It always makes me anxious spending money. I'm like, mm. we don't have to buy this car though. That's better my bank account. I have to. Once he doesn't I, have to buy Yeah, it's like a, it's like a sickness. I'm addicted. I, I, once I've set my mind, I have to buy things. And which type of car is this? It's an Aston Martin convertible. DB9 oh. Volante. Okay, thank you for the fancy numbers and words. The, um, it's a, it actually is a beautiful car in terms of aesthetic, because that's what I really care about. It's a beautiful car. It's got and, uh, kind of like an orange a, tan interior. Yeah, it's like a gray. A, like a slate gray. picture, so it's hard to tell. The picture looks like it's like oh. almost like a slate, gray, like gunmetal gray type of look. On oh, saddle interior, um, it's got a V12, which is nice. Everybody likes a V12. Not great with current gas prices. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be spending some money at the gas pump, but I already do that because we're in a Range Rover. <laughs> yeah, this actually gets pretty. I think this actually gets better gas mileage than that car does. Anyway, uh, so you're gonna be living your James Bond dreams? I am gonna be like James Bond, I need to get a tuxedo. Uh, I would pay to see you in a tuxedo. I don't think I've ever seen you in a tux. I don't have a tuxedo. I think I wore a tuxedo to prom. I've been in. Would you have taken me? I didn't take anyone to prom. I didn't like people in high school. I was just like, meh. That doesn't answer the question. Would you have taken me? Of course I would have. <laughs> oh, it's okay, I still love you. Who taught you how to dress? Me. <laughs> and my mom. Oh, I just scratched my face. So we're currently test driving the Aston Martin DB9. Um, it's from this uh, lovely guy out here in Connecticut. He's letting us test drive it. Um, the car sounds insane. I don't know if y'all can listen to it. We are driving in kind of like a neighborhood because there's really no like roads to gun it down on. But whenever Nick presses the gas. It sounds amazing. The interior is really nice. If you can see, it has this beautiful kind of like terracotta leather. Um, I I like. I'm fine with the wood paneling because it kind of matches this interior. I do wish it was more like platinum and or black because it matches the rest of the leather interior. Um, it's beautiful. And this feels like a nice decision. Yeah, it feels like a, it feels like a, Nick had the same feeling and I had the same feeling too, sort of whenever we uh, got the Ferrari 355. We kind of looked at it. Yay! We looked at it, we felt like it was a good decision. It felt like a, I don't know, it felt like a match. And I feel like this car is a match. Eventually. All right guys, so what happened? hot throws a lot of heat but what happened should we present it we bought a new thing an aston martin db9 it has my initial so it's for me that's not how that works <laughs> it's um it's very pretty it's a v12 has four seats although they aren't that useful because the back seats are not very roomy um, and it's dark out so we'll have to do more footage when it's not dark out but yeah, we just spent driving six hours to get this. I'm trying to show the car, is. Dan. You're standing in the way. That's right. This is my car. How do I look next to it's it? It's not yours. That's not how that works. How do I look next to it? <laughs> You're in trouble. Um. So this is Nick's gift to me after seven years of yeah, hard. This is not a gift. <laughs> um. We're gonna probably we should do some James Bond skits because it's very James Bondish. It's very James Tell Bond. Tell us how it drives because I was driving it the Range Rover. Look, look at how it opens. So like the handles. You push this and it like brings out the handle which you can use to open the car. And then you start it up. See if we can hear the noises. Fans. Someone's getting some. No, I'm kidding. Um, I might. Um, in any case, uh, you can see that the, the gauges for the, the gears are right here um and we're gonna go visit nick's nana now and i don't think she likes to be filmed otherwise i would film her we will hopefully film this car 
um, in the light soon and then to show you all the specs but you can try to hear the sound I don't know if Nick is gonna go in anytime yeah. soon oh, okay well I'm not trying to get no speed tickets so we will see you guys later uh, it's been six hours of driving from Boston to Connecticut Connecticut to now New Hampshire and it's been a trek so if this man doesn't say I love him I love him very much. I love him very much. It was a lot. It was a lot of driving today, and we didn't even do all the driving we were supposed to because, unfortunately, the car needs a few things. So instead of going to the lake house, we had to stop halfway with it to bring it to the mechanic where we we're going to leave it. Yep. AKA my dad. His dad. Uh, His grease monkey. Hey, handsome. Ready to give me a ride? Sure. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can you can you repeat that? No. With more enthusiasm? Can't help you, I'm sorry. <laughs> so as y'all can see, this is the new Aston Martin DB9. I um we actually were able to fix it and it is now ready for action this summer. I am wearing nice pants, which I really didn't intend to do today. But this is all I brought to the lake for some godforsaken reason. So it matches nicely with with the interior. Apparently, a money penny um, to Nick's Bond, who, by the way, is not dressed in a tux. Hey, Mr. Bond. Mr. Bond. What? He's very elusive. Can you can you um commentary on the on the new car? How's it feel? I don't know. I can't drive it yet. Um, at least, can you comment on your hot boyfriend riding with you? Adorable. Look, your pants match. That's what I just said. <laughs> oh, okay. You just gotta get through this first part of the ride, then you can film all you want. I don't know why I want to film during the one part that's hectic. I, I mean, just, life with you is hectic at yeah, well, every I'm single to get point. Get my shit together here, kid. <laughs> this one is kind of hokey, but I like him. <laughs> can I just <laughs> get through this and you can do the We're video? genuine, Nick. This ain't genuine. This is, <laughs> this is very much genuine. This is the chaos of my everyday life with you. Just trying to put a twist to it. time I smell or hear something, I think something broke. And that'll happen for like six months until I get used to the car and then I'll be over it. But it's great fun. Also there's a nice thing with the with the Aston Martin. It's got like these gauges here. Let me get a better look at let me give you a better look at them. So it's got these gauges here which um, means that Nick doesn't have a stick shift, he does have paddle shifters. Um, but it, it's automatic so that I can drive it, right? He did not say that. He said he absolutely agreed with that it. That was not something I agreed There's with. a reason it's a DB9. It was destined to be my, not necessarily my car, but for me to drive it. Okay, damn, we're done. We're done. Time to go lay on the hammock. Why? Oh, there's so many things in the house. <laughs> there's a lot of cars here and random sea do lifts on the lawn. The house has not been properly opened. No. The car. Took us to breakfast safely. Get some sex in the car. How was it, Nick? How it was, was it? Um, it was good. It's, it's Nobody's very, driven it but you. It's very good about it taking you to breakfast. Very important. Nobody's been driven it but you. It fulfills all of its um, functional needs. Okay, Mr. Bond. Really? That's all it has? I like it so far. We've only, we haven't driven it that much. We drove it a lot, but it was like in traffic to get it home. So that was the first like relaxing drive we did. Definitely drives really nice and you get to makes you want to like drive more it's, it's very different than the ferrari because the ferrari is not relaxing to drive but it's fun whereas this is like you're not tempted to drive fast in this actually you want to just like cruise comfortably 
Whereas in the Ferrari, you're constantly trying to shift gears because it makes lots of really nice sounds and all of the horsepower on that car is between like 6,000 and 9,000 RPMs. So you're just always driving too fast and you have to pay attention to that. This car is very comfortable and just makes you want to cruise and pretend you're a very elegant gentleman. And um, my arm's starting to get tired, so I think we're going to call it that the end of the show today. Yay! We're going to put that jet ski in the water and go annoy my parents about other things. And that's, that's another all. video. Yep. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much. Hopefully you guys like the car. <laughs> Follow us on Instagram, Little King Life, TikTok, Little King Life, YouTube here, Little King Life. Subscribe and push the bell icon. And Twitter, as Dan loves to say. I don't know. <laughs> That's all I have. My arm's literally gonna fall off. Say goodbye, Dan. <laughs> Love you, bye.